Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Libra. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Libra, I'm doing my uh, your reading today with the Light Sears Tarot deck, my newest deck. So Libra, you have a really challenging energy in this reading today. So if you're feeling really light and high vibe and everything's going really well for you, this might not be your reading. This is not predicting any kind of um, anything other than that coming in your direction, if that is your experience. This is for somebody who's very much already within this energy. This is not a prediction. This is reading your current energy. So if you're not in this right now, it is not for you. Okay, so we're beginning here with this really potent image of the Eight of Swords in reverse. This image, it actually fell out of the deck onto the floor. And when I picked it up, it was reversed and it actually kind of stopped me in my tracks a little bit because, you know, because I've been seeing it like this all this time. And there's something about it coming out this way that was really a little bit jarring to me, actually. It's really powerful. There's a lot of really incredible energy going on here, but it's really... I mean, it's not a pleasant experience, that's for sure. It's basically like something seems to have happened, Libra, that has really flipped your perspective of self is how it's coming through here. It's like suddenly, as a result of something happening, I believe that it may be tied to a relationship, perhaps, but it doesn't have to be. It's something that you know, was re is really tied to your self-worth, how you see yourself. And whatever it is, it has flipped it on its head and it's really pulling you into a real struggle with your identity, how you view yourself with this justice card coming next. There's just all of this kind of mirroring, looking at self. I'm really seeing this as struggling within yourself about how you see yourself, how you, maybe how you believe others perceive you, that, I don't think that's part of it. This feels very you with you. It may have been triggered by another person or a, a, an event in your exterior life, but it's really thrown you into this inner turmoil with your, where you're really struggling to kind of pull yourself up to a place where why is the camera focusing in and out like that? You're really um, trying to pull yourself back up to uh, a more balanced view of self. Perhaps it all seems to be tied to identity. So, and then the moon and the hermit card coming next. I mean, there's all this imagery of almost like, you know, above and below or two sides, you know, the, the looking into the reflection, this something about looking at, at this reflection of self struggling with this, this shadowy aspect of yourself or something that has been shown to you that you don't want to see. I feel like it's triggered by something, but it's thrown your own view of self into question in a really I almost said unhealthy, but it's not unhealthy. It's having a um, an unbalancing effect on you. I ha absolutely have faith that you're going to restore the balance at some point, but at this point, it's like you're you're really struggling. You've been thrown into the depths emotionally. Your thoughts are really conflicted. It's having a really a really impactful, it's really impacting you in a really deep way. So what I'm seeing here is with this moon and the hermit, it's like you're being, whatever has occurred has really pushed you into a really deep, dark, maybe depressed, you might call it depressed state but I mean, you're still, you're, you're really striving to get out of it. And I do believe that you do. It's like you, it's like you climb your way back up and you get up to a height, you get above the water line. That's, that's what this is talking about as well too. It's like, right. It's like, you just get your head above water. And then I think it's like, 
it just keeps happening. It's like a cycle. You keep going, you keep, you get to a certain, you catch your breath and then, it, and then you get pushed back under again. I'm just really seeing you struggling really deeply, Libra. It's really, it's really saddening me. I can feel the inner, I can feel the weight of it. I feel the weight. You're feeling really weighted and that's part of it. So it's like, it's an incredible effort for you to, to get yourself back up to a, a, a higher vibration maybe, or to having better thoughts about yourself or the situation that has just occurred, but it's like an incredible effort. And so it's really difficult to maintain. It's like you reach that point, but then it, you, you, you can't maintain it. It's, it's like an incredible feat of strength to pull yourself up there so you're up there for a brief time and then you you fall back down. It's really sad, Libra. So Ace of Cups coming next. I mean, this could be starting to point out what may what may have occurred, maybe. It's talking about, I mean, it's very general. It's just talking about something that is very dear to you, right? We're talking about your heart here. It's something that is it feels like a shot to the heart what has happened to you and a shot to it's all I'm also wanting to say a shot to your core your self-esteem because of that because of something that's so tied to your heart to your desires to the core of your being that it's really you've taken a blow a really deep blow here right it's like it's like this core it's really tied to your core and because of that Actually, it's really interesting what's coming through here. Because of that, because it's so tied to your core, because this is something that you love deeply or someone that you love deeply, that something has occurred, maybe a relationship has ended or a, a, a project that you're incredibly invested in has ended, something that you love has ended. And because of that, it's like this, this wound to your core and that's also, it's all tied up with self-image. See what I'm saying? Or so it's, it feels like I'm starting to think that what occurred really isn't anything about you and your self-worth and, and who you are, your identity, but you're taking a really big hit there because it's all connected, right? So it's like, what's that called? Like radiant, um, did you ever... Do you ever have like a pain in your body, but you can't quite identify where it's coming from because the pain radiates from the source. So, so it may feel like it's your hip that hurts, but it may actually be coming from, you know, your knee. You, you know what I'm talking about. It's like you're taking it really directly in, in your core, in your identity center, questioning who you are or your worth but it's really not that that's that it's connected, but it's not that, but you're, you're focused there. You you've taken it there. If that makes any sense. So, and it's like, you're, you're really focused. I believe Libra that you're really focused and determined to transmute this energy or to get back to wholeness or wellness or balance to heal. Right. You, but this feels really, recent so it's like you're in the depths of it right now but you are I do have incredible faith that you're gonna you're absolutely gonna come out the other side but right now you're in the depths of it right so what I'm seeing here with the high priestess card is I'm really drawn to the hands here holding this cup and the this energy here that is kind of pressing against the high priestess it's like that. It's like you're doing this. It's like the... You're just, you're feeling really squeezed, really pressurized. You're feeling a lot of pressure. You're under pressure. And it's all so heart and core related that it's, it's like, that's what I'm saying. It's such a, it's such a struggle for you to get back to any, to, to like above water because there's, you're feeling so much pressure on yourself right now. Maybe because it's so recent, because you're in the midst of it, it's like there is an incredible amount of pressure, like being, 
being, you know, down at the bottom of the ocean, just all the weight of that water, all the weight of the emotion, all the weight of it, because it's, it's right, it's happening right now, right? So the two of wands, the two of wands and the three of cups actually are, is talking to me about, I'm just noticing all this stuff up in the sky. I'm suddenly having some weird stuff about like UFO sightings and stuff, but that's, that's not nothing to do with you. I don't think Libra. So let that go. Right. It also looks like the big dipper. Anyway, you here and them there. I'm feeling like because of what you're going through right now, you may be really um, hiding away a lot because I see this as you kind of like a child looking out the window at, you know, a sunny day, but not being allowed to go play or, or it, but I feel like you, you're doing this to yourself and you're not doing it to yourself. This has happened to you. And the effect of it is that you are no longer able to engage with the three of cups energy, which is all about friends and social activities. I feel like you've, you've removed yourself from your social life because you're just feeling like you, you can't, you can't do that right now. You're, you're just, you're way too melancholy. I, so I feel like you have, you're feeling this. I don't feel like you want to engage actually. It's not like a child gazing out the window, wanting to go play. You're actually in, in your room, watching them out there all engaged in life and feeling alienated from it, feeling like you don't, you don't know how to do that right now, right? And then the Ten of Pentacles came out reversed. This is, it's so strange because I can't remember the last time I had a reversal and then these two cards coming out reversed or they just, they really struck my heart seeing them reversed, right? So it seems to be Ten of Pentacles is, is talking about like your, that whatever has happened has tipped your entire world on its head. It could very much be connected to, um, you know, your domestic situation. Maybe, maybe your, your family is separating something like that. Your friends, it's very much tied in with friends. Their backs are turned on you now. The, the pentacles are on their head. This is very much connected to others, a social dynamic, a family dynamic. Your friends, something has gone down with your friends or your tribe, your family, where you're suddenly feeling really cast out with the five of pentacles coming next. One moment, my cat wants out. Hello, sorry for that. So Libra, what I, what I want to say here is, I mean, I guess the ace of cups could be pointing to this and maybe the ten of pentacles could be pointing this to this, but I feel like just intuitively I'm seeing in these, in these cards or I'm feeling from these energies that perhaps a relationship has ended. And so it's making, it's having the effect of you, for you of being just shut out of, from life right now, not really having the spirit or the heart to engage with anything that feels really, you know, social and friendly and vibrant it's like you're just it's just not matching your energy right now so you i feel like you have removed yourself i mean the five of pentacles talks about being you know out in the cold that kind of an energy but i feel like you're the one placing yourself there because i mean you could be going through just a bad breakup right now or a really unexpected breakup or a really unexpected end of something that you love dearly Right? I mean, we could actually be talking about somebody who's transitioned, a sudden change or end to something that you love dearly. And it's just completely removed you from all the happy moments in your life. It's just so sad, Libra. It could, because with the seven of, of swords coming out next as well, I'm seeing this as you actually like sneaking away. It's like you're... You're pulling yourself farther and farther out of, you know, because this is kind of you just sitting outside the door. You're just outside of the party, just outside of the domestic situation. But then this is like you kind of just quietly sneaking away, right? It's like 
you know, sneaking out of the party, hoping nobody noticed that you've removed yourself. Needing to be alone really is, is the biggest energy here. It's like you're really needing to be alone. Because there's this message here with the Page of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. There's just this message of you don't know how to do this anymore. This Pentacles energy. Whatever you're going through is such a core trauma that you just don't know how to engage with regular life anymore. Because this Page of Pentacles, it's like anytime you try to just hold the pose, you know, go through the motions of still being very plugged into the life that's going on around you to work, maybe to, to your domestic life, perhaps, you know, just doing the, the daily grind. It's like, I feel like you're just tripping over that. This nine of cups. I've, it's like, I'm seeing this as a, as a stumble from this, from this pose of holding holding your position, you know, showing up, showing up at work. But it's like, you, like I said, you just can't maintain it. It's like it's taking absolutely all of your strength to be upright, to hold yourself upright is taking an incredible amount of strength to hold that pose and you can't hold it for very long and then you trip and everything, everything spills out. It's like you could be having these like emotional meltdowns at work and then that's why you're kind of running away and hiding libra it's just it's so heartbreaking so you're in the depths of it right now libra and you know i pray that for most of you it's not this this traumatic but the cards are looking to me today for some of you that it is very much it's a very critical situation and you are in, absolutely in need of, of a lot of healing. And so your inclination to remove yourself is absolutely the appropriate and right thing to do, I feel like. I feel like this is so immediate, like this has just happened, that it's, it's absolutely right for you to just be in it do what need do what you need to do to get through it basically and don't i don't feel like you you are too concerned about the others and them noticing you removing yourself i don't think that's on your radar but in case it is don't be concerned about that just clear everything off your calendar and just be reclusive sleep as much as you need to this is going to be a long healing process. And so you make it as easy for yourself as possible. Remove any kind of pressure, any kind of pressure. Call in sick for a week if you have to. Go to s s professional help if you need to in order to be excused from, from daily life. That kind of a thing. It feels to me like this is significant enough that you may actually need almost like a doctor's note to to be excused from work for a time. It's like this is a this is a big deal, Libra. Allow yourself, give yourself everything that you need right now. So I'm going to continue to pull cards and see what else we can find out about this. And I'm just I'm really sorry, Libra. This is a really heavy reading. It's just going to take time. It's going to take time. And I believe the biggest message here for you is that your, your trauma, your situation is being seen and recognized by spirit, by me, through the cards. You're being, you're being witnessed. You're not alone. If this is you, that there is a consciousness, there is an energy of the universe that is aware of you and is speaking to you right now through these cards and saying you are not alone your situation is is seen you are seen okay so i'm going to continue into the extended if you're interested in that link is in the description i'll see you next time libra thanks bye